So let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, um, let's see, mode, and it's already saved. So by default, when you just hit mode, it'll be at sweep and you're ready to go. So once it's all hooked up to the RPX and you hit the mode button, it'll bring you to sweep and then you just hit on, you're off and running and that's all you have to do. Stop it and just hit stop. You turn the, the battery off and that's it and you're done. Okay, so here's a... Uh, quick video on the Coolertron alternative unit that will replace the uh, fuel tech unit either temporarily or maybe we'll just go with this one permanent it doesn't really make a difference they're basically the same machine just re rearranged a little bit different <clears throat> okay so we have the RPX hooked up I got a scope and uh, spectrum analyzer hooked up and if all you want to do is know how to turn this on to run the RPX just skip forward to that part. I'm going to go through how to actually program this for sweep. And then we'll look at the um, spectrum analyzer and the scope to show that it absolutely does the same thing as a field tech. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Okay, we're going to turn on the signal generator. Okay, so this is from scratch. So I haven't even set this one up. So this will be the first time I'm going to hit English. Okay, and then let's see, I'm gonna to go to mode. Okay, it's already set for channel one sweep and we're gonna be using channel one. This adapter will already be on here. Okay, so all we do is we hit the down arrow to the start frequency. It's set for a thousand hertz. I'm gonna go counterclockwise to bring that to a zero. I'm gonna hit the right arrow to go to the hundredths place and we're gonna start it at say 100. I'm gonna bring it down to the ending frequency it's set for 10,000. Well, I'm going to bring it up to 150,000. It says 150,000. The time is already set, so I just hit the down arrow or up arrow to go up and down through these um, different functions. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at 10 seconds. Rise means do you want it to sweep upwards. Fall is if you want it to sweep in a downwards direction. Rise and fall will go up and down, up and down, back and forth. And that'd be fine too if that's what you want to use. I'm just going to set it for um, rise. Uh, for mode, you always want to do linear. Make sure not to do uh, logarithmic. You want to do linear. Okay, and then go down to control. It's on stop right now. And to start it, all you do is you hit the on button, which is next to on, and it's sweeping. So it's 50,000, 60, and it'll go to 150, and then it will repeat from 100. Okay, just started back over. Whenever you want to stop it, you just hit off. So I guess I can show you right now, uh, but let me save this real quick. Um, I'm going to hit system. We're going to go save for program 00. So let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to, um, let's see, mode. And it's already saved. So by default, when you just hit mode, it'll be at sweep and you're ready to go. So once it's all hooked up to the RPX and you hit the mode button, it'll bring you to sweep and then you just hit on. You're off and running and that's all you have to do. Stop it and just hit stop. You turn the, the battery off and that's it and you're done. Okay, so I'm going to continue the video by turning this on. I'm going to go to mode. We're already in sweep. Okay, so the pump wave is off right now. I'll, I'll turn it on, or we can just leave it off. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it on. Okay, so we're going to turn the spectrum analyzer on, and we're going to turn the scope on, and we're going to see that we are indeed creating the sidebands 100% identical to the field tech unit. Give it a second to boot up here. Okay, so... It's already hooked up to the field, the RPX, it's running. The 3.1 megahertz fundamental is already on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit, um, let's see, center frequency. I'm gonna hit f frequency uh, 3.1 megahertz. And we can see we have a peak right there. That's bouncing around. 
Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, signal generator off. Okay, so what we have is the fundamental right there. And we can see that we have the 3.1 megahertz. Um, the frequency here. Pump wave is on. If I turn the pump wave off, then we got that steady 3.1 megahertz. And you can see... Um, No, that's the fundamental. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the signal generator. I'm going to hit mode. We're in sweep, and all we have to do is hit on, and we're off and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the span, which means I can look at the width a little bit more zoomed in. And I'm going to go, say, 800 uh, kilohertz. And there we go. 100% identical to the field tech. So absolutely, it, make, it makes absolutely no difference. And we can see that um, as it's sweeping, we get kind of this gating effect here. If that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry about it. Okay, and we're going to turn the pump wave on. It doesn't affect the uh, sidebands. Um, and we see this bounce right here, and that's because we have a... Uh, low frequency sine wave carrier with the high frequency sidebands and fundamental piggybacking on that low frequency carrier and which is why this is the only legitimate electro delivery rife device um, in the world because otherwise you're dealing with the skin effect with just the high frequencies and there's no way for it to penetrate any depth so there you go so that's the alternative generator that will be coming with the uh combinations right the rpx combinations at vril.io that's a vril.io